Welcome back, everyone. Well, now it is time to head over to the Emergence Division. We've got another banger of a matchup. We've got Gray Harbor Chokers versus WCU Slate. And now I am here with the famous Juggle God. I am so excited for this cast with you, good sir. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. I I'm excited as well because I, I was scheduled for the first cast of the day today, mm -hmm. but... That one got shuttered. That one didn't happen because of the server issues that Blizzard was having. So happy that I get to jump back in on here at the tail end with you tonight, Joker, uh, to see these two teams and what they can bring to the table today. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. I do remember casting specifically Grey Harbor Chokers uh, last um, last na uh, NACC Nationals. We're a pretty good, te uh, pretty decent team, and uh, I'm really excited to see how they've grown in the off season going into Overwatch too. It should be a really exciting series to watch. It should be, especially because both of these teams, they kind of favor the same compositions, right? Um, both of these teams, they really like Brawl, Poke, uh, and even even a hybrid of the two. So I'm going to be curious to see, you know, how these DPS, because in particular, it's going to be the DPS that are playing more Poke heroes mm -hmm. on these squads, how they're going to fare, right? Um, because uh, we're in just one tank now. And yeah. so there's not going to be there's not going to be that second off take to soak up some of that extra damage and keep the uh, keep the supports keep all those squishies alive. But why don't we talk a little bit about uh, about this squad first? Uh, the Grace Harbor Chokers. Yeah, uh, we've got Crunchy Leaf on that support. We've got Tobias Max, who is in fact a nutty Hanzo player, which uh, should be interesting to see. It's always great to see gr uh, long range uh, DPS players that are great at what they do. They can just take over games immediately. And then they've got Zabs, their flex player. Uh, Jaro later on the DPS, Rias as well, another flex. Excellent. Taking a look at Western Colorado University. A uh, lot of bit, a lot of good names here. In particular, I'm going to be looking at S Boy on the tank because, again, he's, he's one of those pop off players for WCU Slate. And I want to see how he's going to hold up, especially under the barrage of errors that he's certainly going to be getting. From Tobias on Hanzo, but disagree on support, laser on support, a fantastic backline. Jay Rizzle and Rustic on the DP uh, on DPS. It's gonna look, it's gonna be tough. It's, it's gonna be tough either way, no matter which direction you slice it. Yeah, so we got word laser is gonna be playing uh, DPS. It looks like here for uh, the uh, the side of uh, WCU Slate, which is. Um... Interesting to say the least, because they are a support player normally. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out for them. Hopefully, it's not the reason they lose in the end. But <laughs> I'm I'm excited because we did ask them what they like to play, and we didn't see it at all the pre the previous match that we just did. We just saw Diva and Zarya, but uh, the two teams like to run uh, that brawl. We could see Reinhardt. Uh, mm -hmm. We could see uh, maybe see Arissa coming out. You could also see the Junker Queen, which I'd love to see. It's not as tuned up as she once was, but still, I love some good Junker Queen gameplay. Uh, yeah, as do I. It, it would be a treat to get to see her. I mean, uh, uh, she kind of got nerfed into the ground right before Collegiate started, so less likely that she'll be in the mix. But, you know, in, in addition, I, I feel like Sigma can make an appearance as well because he, he's very strong with some of these poke heroes. And if the brawl isn't working, especially on the on the tank line, and I could certainly see a switch over to him. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you there. That's one of the uh, the mainstays I'd have to say, especially if you're playing a bit slower like these two teams like to do. Probably going to see uh, Bap, Zen, maybe Bap Brig uh, alongside of it. But for right now, we're seeing both teams locking this Reinhardt. And I would expect, no, we're not going to see uh, the Lucio from Crunchy Leaf because, well, we've got a, a far in the sky. Yeah, this is really interesting. Uh, um, uh, Reinhardt not necessarily the uh, the most meta pick at the moment, and on a point like downtown Busan, it's going to be hard for you know that single shield to be able to take every angle, make sure that nothing damages it coming in, especially with Jar later on that aura. Yeah, um, definitely look for Jarlator to get that. But hey, we Ow. talked about it. Tobias Max is going to be the person to start things off. I was about to say, look for Jarlator to get that first pick of the fight. But it's Mr. Anzo himself, Tobias and Max, starting things off, getting them forced, forced into the small little tight area. Just 
active raining damage on from on hive is jarlated and that's gonna uh start things off for the uh the chokers in a good fashion it really really is and you know despite uh, well, with, with Tobias Max getting that early pick and then WCU Slate uh, opting to go into that tiny little area. I mean, you know, they, they had no idea they were going to be oh running out on a far off. Tobias! This is Tobias! Ridiculous. This Tobias is ridiculous. needs to stop. Just won the next fight. Have, yeah, <laughs> Tobias just won them that fight as the pause does come through. Um, which is unfortunate. Hopefully it's not too long of a pause. I want to get back into this. Tobias is just... Uh, just popping off as we did see there a computer is freezing up yeah that's, that's unlucky. not yeah that's not good probably gonna have to restart the computer there yeah yeah uh you know uh, but back to what i was saying you know it, it was wcu slate opting to go for that mega health pack area early right under underneath cinema and you know they had no idea what they were going to be running out against but there's just so much shield break with that far end that on so and so many angles that they can take as well so you know unfortunate for them um, but they're coming back out, and, you know, like we said, though, Tobias won this next fight, and they've got lots of ults online. WCU Slate doesn't have any. Yeah, I know. They definitely don't, and, uh, they're gonna be walking into a dragon strike from Tobias Max. Maybe they don't even need it, because they almost just took out Laser immediately. Dragon strike now coming out from Tobias Max, just, uh, keeping him away from the point. But the barrage is now gonna be res in response as well, as Jarlator is gonna find three. They, they do not want to be outdone by their DPS, uh, duo. They were gonna get as much damage as they possibly can get done. Uh, they really, really do, and uh, you know what? You know what's interesting to me here, uh, Joker, is in talking with these teams before, and uh, Gray's Arbor, I was chatting with them, and they said they like to play a slower tempo. Well, this is not oh slow at all. Oh my goodness, what a night. I, I said it before, I love seeing when a uh, long range uh, DPS can just take over the game because you really can't do anything about them. As J Rizzle hasn't really been able to set up, try to be able to uh, get. My thing is, yeah, I think we're both experiencing a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a tech issue there. So hopefully, hopefully we can get that sorted out relatively quickly. But uh, you know, we're, we're at what like sixty percent, I think, capture mm -hmm. at this point. WCU uh, hasn't had an ult online yet. Looks like we are back into it though. And in the meantime, S boy, Laser have a pick. Yeah, it's looking good now for WCU Slate. They need, they're gonna come back. Rius is going to be rezzed up. Not don't they don't have that nano boost online, which could have been huge to help them flip this fight back into their favor. As uh, everything's now going out, the shatter coming down from Zabs, but it's not going to be what they needed. But they do get it up to 99% here, Juggle. Uh, that they do, and just in the nick of time as well. Now we're starting to see, oh my gosh, a barrage coming in at the last minute from Jar later. Is they going to look to flip, flip this point? Yeah, they take out Laser, who had their attack visor online, and there's no real supports besides this Lucio, who can't really do much in the sense of healing, especially with that anti nade coming out. The grab as well from S Boy, trying to keep it into the favor of WCU, as they do end up winning that fight out. Yeah, that might have been uh, Jar later biting off a little bit more than they could chew right there, hoping to switch that uh, point back in their favor, but the respawns were just too long. For Slate, of course, they did have to expend some ultimates in the process, and now Grace Harbor looking a little bit better on this next one. They've got the Nano Boost, they've got the Dragon Strike, but Laser, if he can get this uh, Backfires there off early, it could prevent them from even engaging. Yeah, look for Tobias to be that uh, that that setter, that fight setter, like we've seen previously. If they can get a nice arrow onto Laser, they could just shut everything down that WCU Slate has going for them. Oh, this is interesting. We got uh, Tobias with a nice flank over here. It's actually going to be the whole team, or at least a lot of them, pushing on coast. Yeah, as it, there it is. Tobias is going to shut down uh, Rust immediately out of this fight. As the Dragon Strike comes out, the, there comes the attack Visor as well, but nothing's really doing with that ultimate. They're just focusing down onto the Reinhardt, and you can't really focus them down with just your soldier, as that's gonna flip and go immediately to the favor of Grey's Harbor. Uh, yeah, fantastic play all the way around from Grey's Harbor. They they lost one uh, one and a half fights. Um, you know maybe 
uh, uh, due to a little bit of greediness on Charlator's part, but in some ways you hardly can blame him because he, he's just been popping off so well. And they've been able to do such a good job of, again, winning these fights practically before they start. We're moving on to Mecha Base, though. Things can look a little bit different here. And, you, you know, again, I find it interesting that they both chose a Brawl composition, uh, or at least a Brawl tank for that first sub-map. They're going to be doing the same here, but espoy has gone over to the Zarya. And I like this pick just a little bit more. If she can get that energy up, she can just laser down the back line. So I'm going to be watching Espoy a lot this map. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you there. Zarya is in just such a great spot right now. It's, it is the superior Brawl tank, but when teams aren't expecting a Reinhardt, it could change the entire uh, the, 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 the entire flow of the fight. As um, they're gonna come in, the anti-nade's already out though. They're gonna have to play it slow, but Tobias Max, yet again, just uh, showing up and showing out on this Hanzo. They do pay for it with their life in the end, but they're still in a good spot is Grey's Harbor. They've got this, uh, they've got this Reaper on board, but now that they've gone out of this fight, it's now looking good for WCU Slate. They've got everything they need, but the point is going to go into the favor of Grey's Harbor for the moment. Uh, yeah, you know, that's interesting. I wonder if this isn't going to come back to bite them because like you said, they won the fight but lost the point. And now we already see that Zab's shield is very low and the anti-nade lands. A yeah, big anti-nade, but Zabs does take down Disagree. They're not going to be able to try to build up towards that sound barrier for this full fight. As Jarlator now in the back line with the Reaper just taking names. It's going to be a quick fight win for Grace Harbor. Yeah, it absolutely was. And Jarlator going over as well to the Reaper, I think. Uh, you know, that's going to that's gonna give a lot of problem to S-Boy as well. Even if they have those bubbles around... Jarlator's going to be able to chunk through them very, very quickly, and then through that health as well. But Ice getting ready to start, and there's no ults online for Slate. Yeah, as uh, the Dragon Strike is going to be the thing that starts things off and takes down Rustic. Uh, this is just going to wrap things up immediately. Jarlator and Tobias Max are just a too much of a dynamic duo. Uh, yeah, they absolutely are. And again, you know, this is... I feel like I got baited by Grace Harbor a little bit. They told me they were playing slow tempo, but they have been taking the initiative in every single one of these fights. And they're not giving Slate an opportunity to build up these ults. This is the exact same thing we saw last time. They're going to have the nano. They're going to have the grab online. These both have to be huge for Slate. Yeah, they definitely do as uh, they almost go down. But a huge anti nade from Rias comes through as the, dra uh, the Death Blossom comes out. And that's just a quick team fight win for Grace Harbor. Uh, yeah, the WCU Slate, they've got to come up with an answer to this. You know, Disagree wasn't able to get that sound barrier online. You need to see a little bit more um, longevity from them, a little bit more presence. 90% on the board. This is going to be a very tough touch if they get it at all. See the grab come in. It's taking out a few people, but the kills still going the way of Grace Harbor. Yeah, it's just incredible stuff here. And uh, I want to go back because this is the end of the round. You were saying they, they, they like to play slow, but I think with how they're running things they've got this reinhardt instead of the zarya you can't let wcu slate uh build up those uh the build up this charge specifically on the Zarya. you've got to go into them and i love that adaptation from gray's harbor so far yeah that, that's a very good point actually you know you, you're right they're not allowing for an opportunity for that you know the weakness of the shield to really come into play they're taking care of these fights uh, so so quickly that it, it, it's just a non-issue for them yeah, it really is, and uh, they're they're looking very strong. They did finish fourth in nationals last yeah. uh, season. They're looking even better this season so far, um, and I'm very excited to see how they continue to push forward as we do go into our next map, which is going to be Eichenwald yet again, and. It'll be interesting because now they can't, I mean, you could still run the Reinhardt, but it's not what you normally would see uh, going going forward in Overwatch 2. Uh, it's really not, but I, I'm anticipating we're going to be seeing more of it here today because, again, looks like it might be a comfort pick. And, yeah. you know, we've only had the game for, what, a week, week and a half? Uh, not even that. <laughs> um, yeah, not too terribly long. And so a lot of these, a lot of these, you know, um, a lot of these players probably more confident on some of the other tanks that were a little bit more powerful in Overwatch 1. So it makes sense to see them do this. Now, 
moving into Eichenwald as well, you know, uh, this this one, I, I, it reminds me a little bit of Busan in the fact that there's parts where you want to be played Brawl, but then there's also parts that are really die favored, right? Um, mm -hmm. I'm thinking particularly that second point, right? That entire section around the castle, over the bridge. Yep. Um, if you can use that high ground to your advantage, you can you can have some real solid value, especially if the you know the other tank is running Rhine. Now, both of these teams, they seem to want to force the brawl, they seem to want to force the poke. So I'm not anticipating a swap. But if WCU, I think, wants to change their favor, especially considering that Grace is running the Rhine, I think Dive could be the answer. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you, especially with again Diva being in such a great spot right now for for any just just to pick in general. Um, and even if you, if you, if Diva's not your uh, Diva's not your flavor, Winston is also a really good option as well. And I finally, after all these times of after, uh, I don't know if you had this problem during the beta. You cast the beta, and then you see the Winston zap, like the long range zap, and now. And then you go back to Overwatch one, and then it doesn't have the zap. And now yeah. we get the zap. We get the zap back, and I finally get to say, "Oh, he can zap now." Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I love having the zap. It, it definitely took me a day or two to get used yeah. to having it again. You know, not gonna lie, I'm a tank main myself, um, and I, I love having that long range capability. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, that opens up a lot as well for Winston. You know, uh, especially on that second point, too. There, there can be so much more poke that Winston yeah. does from those high grounds. So, uh, you know, the, the threat just becomes that much more pertinent, I think. Yeah, uh, and especially not just like the high ground. Going in um, when you'd like to go, like when you, there would still be a brawl comp. When you go up the bridge, you can zap through the, the enemy team if they're up there on the high ground which also works out well for you, and then you can build up your ultimate and push him off with your Primal Rage. Um, we do have a change here, though, Juggle. We've got Disagree swapping over to DPS and Laser going back to support. Uh, yeah, so th this will be interesting to see what kind, of, uh, what kind of dynamic comes from this. You know, maybe swapping, uh, swapping the roles a little bit is going to help uh, WCU kind of get their feet back underneath them again. You know, because one one thing I think we should mention is, is that the again the team fights were so fast that we didn't yeah. see Slate really build up too many ultimates, and in particular, I feel like especially with Lucio, that was a problem because that's your big sustain ult, right? Yeah. That's that's your get out of jail free card for when Reaper drops in with a Death Blossom, or you get that barrage coming in, right? You need to have one of those support ults around, and so. I think that's going to be one of the biggest things that I want to see from uh, Western Colorado University moving forward into this next map is can they get those support ults online? Can they survive long enough to build up these ultimates so that they can win the fights? Because, yeah, right now it's 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 just Tobias clicking heads. Mm -hmm. And Tobias clicking heads, and then when uh, they click the heads of the DPS, the uh, Yara later is able to just reign supreme from the skies, and you can't really do much about it. And, and hey... It's a good combo for uh for Gray's Harbor. If uh, if nothing if the, no one catches onto that, they're gonna go far and very very far. Yeah, they they certainly will. Now uh, we talked earlier about uh, Gray's Harbor uh, placed fourth in NECC, right? Well, uh, mm -hmm. Western Colorado University placed second as well. So you know this is a strong team. This is a very very strong yeah. team. So uh, I I believe they placed second out there. Maybe I have the wrong. Let me check my notes real quick. Uh, yeah, they finished second overall in Navigators Division, um, and third overall in uh, the Navigators Division of Nationals. So this this is a great team, uh, yeah. you know. And so I'm wondering, you know, is this a new is this a new roster, right? Uh, are these new compositions, or is this them just uh, having a little, you know, having a little trouble in this first map? And now we're gonna see what they're made of. Yeah, and maybe it's uh, also uh, they're missing MWM. Uh, that could be a huge thing as well. This is really interesting. We're seeing a Doomfist come out from S-Boy, which uh, I don't think anyone was predicting. Uh, hey, maybe if it were... Uh, 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 man, that's pretty much what happens when you play Doomfist. But, uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm just really shocked by this right now. They're going to push in here is Graves Harbor, and they're going to be able to open this fight up, and uh, I think they're going to get a really quick capture of this first point. Yeah, they, they absolutely will. But now I don't necessarily dislike the uh, Doomfist pick, right? I wanted to see them go dive. I think it's a good look. I think they can make it uh, happen. 
but I think Esplay just went a little too aggressively that time. Either that or the, uh, the supports weren't there to quite be able to back him up the way that he needed to be, and he was just first down. So if they can control that, if they can keep him alive, then he can absolutely be a big threat. He almost took out, I believe it was Rios, uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, Rios on that Baptiste. But moving into the next fight, uh, again, the, uh, the ults are in Grace Harbor's favor. Yeah, and I definitely, uh, I, I agree with you. It can definitely work, especially if they can uh, combo well with the Jay Rizzle's May walls. Uh, just mm -hmm. get, get those stuns up. But uh, we'll have to see because it, it's just, it's such a, it's, it's just a, a, such an outlier uh, tank at the moment. Uh, if they can get, if they can do well with it, hey. Uh, but uh, right now it's not showing to be the pick. But uh, it does not matter because well, Jay Rizzle's on the uh, the May and fighting two picks of their own to keep this fight going uh, somewhat in the favor of WCU Slate. Uh, yeah, that was a nice pickup there by, um, by the May. But we're going to have to do a little bit more than that uh, to make things uh, really happen here because there wasn't a lot of car for, I guess, and they got a lot of movement. But Blizzard coming out, this could be a way that this changed. Yeah, then the Death Blossom gonna come out as well, though. It's gonna be eaten up mostly by the Kinetic Grasp, but the Dragon Strike coming through as well. You can't eat all that damage, Sigma, as they are gonna go through and continue to win that fight out. Yeah, Grace Harbor just uh, continuing to push forward, not really meeting a whole lot of resistance so far from Slate. They do have the Nano coming out. Disagree is on this um on the sombra as well if she can get that emp off this could be good yeah that could be that needs to be the the win condition for the side of wcu as uh the, the beat is kind of come out this uh graphic graphic flux oh my goodness uh zab's gonna find two with that ultimate and are gonna be able to get to the checkpoint and again it, it was just the tempo right i uh wcu they were waiting for that EMP to come online, but they just weren't able to get it quick enough before Grace Harbor pulled the trigger again. Now they've got the amplification matrix coming up. They don't have much of the tank as far as ults are concerned, but they should be able to build them up. I'm looking at Tobias's in particular with that ant matrix. Nice sleep. Great play coming in from Rustic, and that's going to be able to uh, stabilize the defense for WCU Slate without really ha uh, maybe not having to use any ultimates as well. Uh, yeah, that's a huge boon for Slate. Now they've got three online, Ooh, almost about nice to have Maywell. five. They're also getting a huge stagger right here, which is just going to make things even better for them. They desperately needed a fight win like this. They desperately did. And look at those ultimates on the board. Almost all five of them. Yeah, and again, it's going to have to be, uh, you know, Rios and this uh, this Ant Matrix to really try and charge this. But of course, Grace Harbor might just look at Ooh. this next fight as a way to just build their ultimates moving into the next one. They don't have to win this one. They've got such a dominating Oh, but Here comes the Death Blossom. They do get S-Boy out of this fight. The Blizzard is going to come out. They've got to stabilize and they've got to stabilize now. And they didn't weren't able to take down the two supports before Rius un, uh, unthought out. Didn't drop down the uh, immortality field and continue to push forward. Is Grace Harbor now? They've got this uh, penultimate corner under their control. Now that's going to be a gravitic flux coming in as well. Ooh, He lands, though. Huge EMP coming in from WCU Slate. They're going to be able to uh, stabilize yet again on the defense. When things seem most dire, things come out in response for WCU. But now, Grace Harbor has built up those ults that they wanted. They've got the Dragon Strike. They've got, um, uh, they've got the Gravitic Flux. Those together could be all they need to win this next fight. They don't have much further to go. Yeah, they do not uh, not have much further to go, and especially with Tobias's, um, Tobias Max's um, Dragon Strike online to force them all the way back. This could be over and done with very quickly as they're going to engage with the Sigma, then the Flux. Uh, sorry, Sigma, then the Dragon Strike. 
as they're gonna come through and uh, look to win this fight out and it does seem like they are at the moment Jay Rizzle down looking for some more picks a nice anti need however coming through from rustic as they're gonna pop the nano boost onto the sigma they've got to get some damage and they've got to get it done now but jar later on this reaper is doing so much work can they get this flux online they do this could be huge to keep it going jay rizzle with a pick is it possible for them to hold on though is the question there's just an overwhelming presence from grace harbor on the point and it does seem like it's gonna go in that way for grace harbor uh, yeah, great plays right there coming out from Grey's Harbor. You know, I love seeing the Nano come out as well. On to S-Boy. They got the Gravitic Flux up online, but uh, there wasn't the focus fire that I was hoping to see from Slate at that point. Uh, you know, several several members of the other team were low, uh, but it looked to me as though everybody was just looking at different players, looking at different heroes. So mm -hmm. seeing a little bit more uh, target focus, I think, from, from Slate would help, would serve them really, really well. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. Focusing on one target, especially uh, that, that key target in the opposing team composition is 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 crucial. I mean, especially when there are people that are outstanding at what they're doing, like Tobias Max and Yar later. Uh, that's something WCU Slate needs to work on, and they need to work on it quick before anything, um, before this series gets too out of hand. Oh, right, because there's two minutes on the clock for Grace Harbor, and mm -hmm. Eichenwald isn't necessarily a map that you finish um, every time you play it, e even when you win, right? So yeah. having that kind of a time bank, it, it, it says a lot about how well this game is going for Grace Harbor. Uh, WCU Slate, uh, again, you know, I, I've been thinking, what can they do to try and counter this? And honestly, I, I feel like a D.Va pick would be fantastic here, but they're going for the Rhine again, this time with a Symmetra in tow. So I think they're going to be looking to just completely get around this choke as quick as they can drop it on the back line and just start brawling and putting them down as fast as they can yeah man that could be huge as oh they didn't get over the side of the they, they were trying that little cheeky yeah. strat uh, uh but not gonna be able to get there in the end as uh esboy's uh shield has already been destroyed i think as they're gonna have to wait out, get that back up as uh, Yarlater uh, from on high with no one really to counter him. This is gonna do so much work in the sky. Uh, yeah, there's just there's just no answer right now to Jarlater, right? Uh, they've got the May, they've got the Symmetra, but neither of them are really built to deal with the Farah. Yes, Laser can, but um, they're not necessarily gonna be in a position to do much about it either. Meanwhile, already Jarlater has the Rocket Barrage online. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, it's definitely... Oh, Esploy with a pin from Narnia. Taking out Rias is going to be huge. But the barrage is just going to be even huger. Oh, my goodness. Yarn later with a four-piece looking for the fifth. Can they find it? I think they're saving it for him. Maybe uh, the Moira is going to get away. That's just oh, nope. Tobias oh, found nope. her. <laughs> but uh, again you know let's let's look at the ults right for slate uh, still nothing coming online yet again grace harbor winning these very very early they've swapped over to the widow as well and that could certainly help with this uh with Ooh. this bar and in fact that's exactly what it does now they've got to make sure the res doesn't come in the uh, res does come through now and now you're a little bit closer to that far it's gonna be hard the overclock has been popped by tobias and max they're looking for the damage to come through and they do find it jay rizzle down out of this fight coalescence coming on the board as well as the shatter s boy finds two down on the ground and cleans them up themselves y'all are gonna try to turn it back but s boy is just roaming free with that big german hammer swinging as fast and as freely as they can but crunchy leaf gets the pick on to disagree and jarlater is still up and alive they're still putting a lot of pressure on point this isn't over yet um but with the barrage coming in laser is able to take them both down yeah and that's gonna be the first point done and dusted for wcu slate and i i I was, I was really questioning this Widowmaker pick, but then they come out and just headshot Yar later. Now they're gonna have to play a little bit more, uh, a, a little more safe, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more passive than they have in the past. Uh, they certainly will. And you know, what, what's interesting too is, is this is, you know, this, this is an attack widow, something you don't normally see, but I like the adaptation. 
I think it makes a lot of sense here given what's happening. Alrighty, we see him trying to put a lot of pressure in. Gets pushed out though by, by Tobias. Yeah, that's the big problem with Widowmaker though. You gotta stay in one place when you're uh, when you're aiming and uh, just with how uh, Sojourn's kit is, it just gets up in your face immediately and you can still duel with that Widowmaker as well. But it's still, uh, it's looking good for uh, Grace Harbor right now, taking Jay Rizzle out of this fight. They're gonna use the Shatter here. They do kick down Rius again, but it looks like they're uh, a little, may have uh, over-invested in this fight here at the moment. Yarlader finding another pick on the Disagree. Espo is still just putting in the damage with this Reinhardt. It's still anyone's point, actually, as they pop the overclock, does Tobias and Max, and uh, they're just looking for a kill, but it, it's really anyone's point right now, Juggle. Uh, in fact, I think it's Slate. They've done a great job of kind of mitigating some of this damage of uh, weathering this storm. They've got a far of Ooh. their own now as well. And uh, uh, Jay Rizzle also on that soldier could be deadly with that attack visor, but it's still happening here on the bridge. Yeah, as both bars are just putting in the damage right now. As the, the barrage is going to come through, they take out Laser, who was in the midst of that coalescence, the res coming through as well. But it's still uh, the side of WC WCU continuing to push forward here. Uh, yeah, they seem to have uh, maybe found an answer for what Grey's Harbor has been throwing at them all this time. Because now they've got three and a half minutes on the clock. That's a minute and a half that they have to equalize the time that Grey's Harbor has made. And look at this, Slade has a full slate of ultimates online. It's just laser without that cold. Um, Rias, they're gonna try and charge things up with this, uh, with this window. Yeah, as uh, the window's gonna just have to let them uh, force back, uh, stay out of the line of sight until that's down. And now it's down. They're gonna pop this uh, attack visor coming in from Jay Rizzle, but Tobias Max just takes them all down. But a huge shadow coming in from S Boy, and the follow up coming in from Disagree with the Barrage. They don't get as many kills as they would like to, but they still continue to push the cart forward. Yeah, 249 on the clock. Now, this is a, a very doable for them to finish with a better time here than Gray's Harbor did. But Bias Max has the uh, Bob coming online. Here's the Gravitic Flux as well. Yeah, and this should be what they needed in the end to stabilize on the defense, just dumping these ultimates in. Uh, to, uh, and, and, and then that's what they needed to do. You wanted to stop them in their tracks. Uh, you absolutely did. Um, Rustic pops the, uh, pops the window as well, that amplification matrix though, and I'm not sure that was necessarily the best use of, of that ultimate right there, because now they've really only got the coalescence coming into this next fight, whereas Grace Harbor, they've got the Valk, they've got the Barrage, both of these could be deadly, but Laser does have an opportunity to counter with that, uh, with that Cole. Oh, but Disagree is down. Yeah, Disagree is down. I'm still wondering why this, the bar is completely out of being run, but the Barrage is going to come out here from uh, Jar later. Find the value. And hey, who says point three is too close quarters for a far? Uh, Jar later <laughs> says differently. Uh, yeah, he, he would like to have a he would like to have a talk with you <laughs> because he's showing that that's definitely not the case here today. Ooh, nice shot there from uh, Tobias. Almost takes the head off of Jay Rizzle. Interesting. And Junkrat coming out here from Disagree. Not another hero. Not uh, was not expecting to see here. Uh, juggle. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, I would agree. You know, the um, uh, there's not necessarily anyone diving, so I, I feel like the trap doesn't necessarily get a ton of value. However, they can stay in a much safer position and just deal a lot of spam damage around these corners, right? Without having to really put themselves in harm's way. But in the meantime, oh. Tobias has found Disagree. Yep, they, they, they got put in harm's way there with Tobias <laughs> Max in there, with, had them in their cross sides as Laser. Oh my goodness, three, four, looking for a five piece. Can we get it? No, Jay Rizzle takes it away from them. But crucially, 40 seconds on the clock. I'm not sure if anybody's gonna have a touch so. here, but even if they do, it's just gonna be the Amp Matrix online. And that's a minute on the clock for uh, Slate. This is a much better look from them. Yeah, definitely, and, and and getting that time on the board, they're gonna have the chance to attack yet yeah, again. Not getting that, those 44 seconds are crucial because they get that opportunity. They don't have to defend uh, solely, and uh, that that's huge. Uh, that really, really is, yeah, because if it, if it had made it to overtime, then it would have only been one tick 
that Grace Harbor has to get on first point in order to win this map. Now, we got to see how well uh, WCU does on both their defense and attack, uh, because if they, you know, it could still be the case that Grace Harbor only needs to get one tick on attack, right? Uh, if WCU Slate can't crack that first point. Are they going to go about it the same way, though, this time? It looks like they're going for something a little bit different. Yeah. Um, an interesting D... Uh, uh, interesting DPS duo. Uh, Sombra, amazing. But with a Reinhardt, I wasn't, uh, again, not expecting that. Uh, but, hey, it should work out well, especially since Zabs right now is uh, hovering over the Reinhardt themselves. Yeah, well, I think they've committed just a few more seconds before this door opens, and they gotta hold the line right here. Uh, Disagree does swap over to the Echo at the last moment, but they're not gonna have a, uh, a damage booster in tow. They're opting again for this Lucio and Moira composition, so Disagree, if they can get a nice pick on them, they're, they're gonna be in trouble. They definitely are, they definitely are indeed, especially with this Lucio boost. Uh, WCU Slate is gonna be in, in favor. Uh, just to say that uh, Rustic is out of that fight, but still, it got uh, Esmoy into the uh, face of the enemy team, taking out the uh, Tobias Max in a nice focusing beam, almost taking down the Reinhardt of their uh, of Zabs, but it's not going to matter. They stay up and healthy. Rias really pumping in that healing. Yeah, now there's just 20 seconds left to go. This is going to have to be a sprint to point. It's going to be up to J. Rizal, I think, to try and touch here. What a uh, crucial thing, though, is Esploy just about has that shatter online. They've done a much better job of uh, being able to build those ultimates. They've charged in, but already both supports are down. They will get the touch here at the last moment, but Jarlator yeah. already, the, this is all but over. Yeah, the team kill gong sounds. That is the attack done and dusted for WCU Slate in the overtime round. Now, like we were saying, Grace Harbor only has to get that one tick. That 33% is um, it's pretty attainable, especially since how we saw uh, their first attack go. Uh, Grace Harbor went in very quickly and uh, just dismantled WCU's uh, defense. Uh, yeah, they certainly did. Now, you know, you could argue that maybe that was a, a little bit because as well, you bit off more than they could chew with the Doom Fist, right? They went yeah, in yeah, yeah. a little bit hard. They went in a little bit quick. So as long as they kind of you know, pump the brakes a little bit, I think, on their defense here and prior to staying alive more than necessarily getting the picks, then I think things could go a little bit better for them. Roadhog, first time we've seen them come out as well. I mean, you want survivable, say no more. WCU Slate, I, I love this team, personally, just because we've seen so many different heroes that I was just not expecting to see. We've, <laughs> we're, we've seen uh, we've seen the Reinhardt, but that's for both of these teams. We've seen a Junkrat, we've seen a Doomfist, now we're seeing the Roadhog coming out from S-Boy. And hey, it could work out amazingly for them if they can get those hooks and get those one-shots that... Uh, one shots out uh and take take someone out of this fight immediately it could be huge uh it could be it could be absolutely huge especially considering they're gonna have that discord orb as well i mean they're, they're just about dead before they even you know get hooked out, this is free gonna go down early though that is a big boon for grace harbor and they're gonna push on it yeah that's that should be it i'd have to think uh you lost both of your dps tobias max is just going crazy there's a hog on the enemy team but tobias max is the one going hog wild as gray's harbor take the second map of the series yeah beautiful play coming out from grace harbor gotta give it up though for western colorado they seem to have found uh some kind of an answer though to what is happening it, it's not a complete answer right because Tobias is still finding a way to find value no matter what's going on. And, you know, I, I think that's the big thing that we're going to have to look for from Slate moving forward is just how do they counter Tobias? Because, you know, they're it, it, Grace Harbor. They're starting just about every fight 5v4. Yeah. Uh, and and that, that's, that's, that's what you love if you are uh, the side of uh, Grace Harbor. Uh, I mean, you, you can't ask for anything, uh, anything better that from your hanzo player i was saying i keep saying it uh when long range hit scans are at their best they they make the game almost unplayable for the enemy team uh yeah they they really really do um 
now you know we're, we're moving into our third map here we are going to be going to dorado so uh i'm a dive fan i love dive i want to mm. see it dorado's a great place for it bring it to me here wcu let me see your dive grace i want to see what you've got here um as we move into that map yeah i, I i'd love to see it as well um as um, we are going to head to a break, however, so you're not going to get to see if we have dive yet, but we'll see in about five minutes. Don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss the conclusion of this, uh, this series.
Welcome back, everyone. It's almost time to head into map number three, which, if you didn't catch it, is going to be Dorado. And I am still here with the one, the only Juggle God. I'm excited, uh, excited about this map. Like I said before the break, I'm hoping to see some dive come out. Not holding my breath because, again, both these teams, they love their brawl, they love their poking. Poke is a very good option on Dorado as well. I mean, you just, uh, you, again, you know, if you're if you're Grace, you put Tobias up on the high ground and just uh, let him drop his arrows wherever he uh, wherever he pleases, and uh, that could be all you need moving into this. And again, Western Colorado, they have to find an answer for Tobias right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Whether that's swapping to a diva, uh, or you know, whether that's just um, you know picking apart the rest of the team before before Tobias has a chance to pop off, right? It's Something has to change here from uh, Western Colorado if they're going to come away with this series. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you there. Um, Tobias, uh, it's, uh, Tobias is just exerting his will on this uh, on the opposing team, and it's just, it's uh, at times it's just unfair. <laughs> unfair, I'd say. And <laughs> um, I, I mean, yeah, uh, I, don't, I really don't know besides. We we saw some um, we saw them try to really go at him, but yeah, it it didn't really work out for him. He just swapped over to like a, a sojourn or something different, and still found value. Not as much value as he did on the Hanzo, but still finding value on whatever he's playing. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and and I think the the look that I liked the most so far from WCU it was when they went the. Uh, I believe they went the soldier and the Farah, right? They they tried to play the Farah before, yeah. and I think they found some success there. In addition, bringing out that soldier as well, um, again, when you bring out that attack visor, even before that, it, it makes it so much easier to take the far out of the sky because right now the game plan for Grays seems to be take one pick, buy it to bias, and then let Farah come in and just clean up the rest. So if they can prevent that cleanup, then maybe they can overcome that initial player deficit that they've had in just about every single fight so far yeah and again i i think when we've seen them focus down to bias that's just when uh yara later has just been left unchecked and just kills the, uh, the entire team as well that's it's 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 that dynamic duo that one two punch that we've seen they're, it's their, their own mini batman and robin i'd have to say <laughs> right exactly exactly um but again, uh, Dorado, not not exactly an easy map to finish either. So, uh, you know, we saw actually both teams being able to complete Eichenwald before, which, which again, is not an easy task. I, I think it's even harder, though, on Dorado. Yeah. Um, but uh, to me, it's just going to come down to, I, I think, who can who can put out the who can put out the better defense, right? Because both of these teams, they were able to cap Dorado, right? They, they seem to have their offense firing all, on all cylinders. It's just the defense. Right? How can they make that pop moving forward? You know, what do they need? Do they need more sustain on the card? That could be that could be an option. You know, maybe you go to something like an Arissa, uh, right, who has a little bit more sustain. Uh, you know, in, in addition, maybe maybe you go for maybe you go for Azaria, right? Use some of those bubbles to maybe protect some of your players from these arrows coming in from Tobias, right? And you yeah. build up that charge as well, and then use that to be able to burst down. Some of the other players, right? Maybe the maybe Crunchyly, if you can take her out of the equation or Rios. But gonna be a dive from WCU Slate starting things off first. Yeah, and you said the the Arissa as well coming out now from Grey's Harbor, which is a fun thing to see. I love the rework they did with Arissa, and I'm a great I'm grateful we get to see some uh, in in some competitive uh, Overwatch here as uh, they're gonna force the side of WCU Slate back for the time being and J-Rills are getting caught out there trying to find a sneaky assassination but not gonna be able to, find, to be the case as that's gonna be Grace Harbor winning this out. It was a great initial start I think from WCU Slate, right? They had the dive, they had the right idea. They may have just pushed it a little hard, a little too quickly, right? Mm -hmm. I think they needed to, you know, one of the keys to dive, right, is you go in, you get your value, you get out, and then you reset, right? You get all your cooldowns back. I, I, I feel like Deskboy might have pushed the pace a little bit too quickly right there and paid for it. And again, already we see WCU Slate thinking about pushing in, but is this the safest place for them to uh, to set up, to start things off? 
Yeah, it's going to be questionable because, well, there's uh, Tobias Max just uh, showing out yet again, getting that first pick in the fight. Then ability just to let Yarlater do what they've been doing all series along and just rain damage from on high without really any contention. Uh, yeah, and again, it was it was the fact that WCU Slate, they didn't take a full reset right there. They tried to get some poke damage as uh, the cart was pushing forward. They had the time. They could have waited, but they pushed it. And because of that, Bias Max was able to get another pick. And then Rustic came in to try for the res. And they were picked off as well. And then the rest is history. So um, they've just got to play this a little bit slower, a little bit better. Jay Rizzle, though, with the reflex, able to take Tobias out of the fight. So Slate has a golden opportunity here. Yeah, they definitely do. They definitely do indeed. As um, they're gonna, they're gonna, what? They're, they're not really contesting it though. Uh, they're letting uh, Grace Harbor Fort uh, keep on pushing forward and getting as much heart uh, progress as they possibly can. And Tobias Max is just gonna make him pay for it. Jay Rizzle out of this fight. They might have this res available coming forward, but they're not gonna be able to get it as. Um, Esboy almost taking out a uh, crunchy leaf there. The Dragon Strike coming through as um, this is going to be, yet again, Grace Harbor's fight to, to win. Uh, yeah, again, it's just Tobias Max finding a tremendous amount of value right now on that Hanzo. And Zaps just is not dying on point either. There's just so much sustain with that Arisa. They're able to just push this card in with, with very, very little uh, resistance. Yeah, um... They, they, they are they're doing just so well as uh, again uh, if it's not tobias max it's yard later getting that pick the stagger uh, that they need in the end and uh, that's just a, another huge pick coming in from tobias max it's just gonna burn more time off the clock uh, exactly exactly now it is absolutely crucial that we see a full reset coming out here from slate rustic has just respawned so now they can start to push out but already a nice shot on disagree uh healing does come in though effectively but we've got ults on either Ooh. side is this gonna be down to who executes better and honestly who executes first jay rizzle i was gonna say with the nano could be huge but that's out of the equation now yeah and uh tobias max just showing up yeah again 2k um as uh they're gonna go through and um gonna pop it out uh with the dragon strike that Dragon Strike's gonna find it. Some mark is gonna prevent people from pushing onto point. Oh, and what a beautiful barrage coming out right when that window is popped as well. We're gonna see the blade loose, but it's not gonna have a nano behind it this time. With the immortality fields out, it saves a few people's lives and gives them enough time to back out and get those heals that they needed and be able to push back in. But the response are gonna be so strong here for WCU. Are they gonna be strong enough is the question. And it looks like Ray's Harbor meeting very, very little resistance, able to uh, able to take that uh, take that point. And in fact, they did it in faster time than they did in the last map. And uh, quick note, Joker uh, having a little problem with his uh, PCs, having to restart it at the moment. So I'm going to take the solo cast here for a minute, but. Um, you know, Grace Gray, Harbor, we've seen a lot of different looks come out from them tonight. Uh, now we've seen the Orisa come out, and uh, she just, I, I don't think she's had a death yet. Uh, she was just able to stay on that payload, stay alive. Rhea did a beautiful job. There, there were a couple of really clutch immortality fields as well, right there at the end, that allowed them to, to kind of regroup in the moment, um, and then come back out and win that fight. We're going over to uh, see how Grace Harbor does on defense now, though, and they're going to stick with this Orisa pick. Um, and for the most part, they're, they're sticking with what has worked. And, and frankly, if it's not broke, don't fix it at this point. It's, it's done such a tremendous job so far. Uh, Jar later, again, going to be on that on that Farah and Dorado is a, a fantastic place for Farah to pick as well. You know, I, I think back a couple years ago to to the Chengdu Hunters and Jinmu on Farah and Dorado. And I mean, he was absolutely unstoppable here. But we're going to have to see what comes up because Laser is on the Widow now. And that could be very, very deadly once again. We do uh, have the Diva coming out this time. And this is the adaptation that I've been looking for from S-Boy and from this squad uh, for so long now. Maybe this could be the answer if they can keep bias under control that could be huge but already laser is out of the fight now jar later dropping down on the point they've got free reign since they don't have to worry about that deadly deadly hit scan in the sky anymore 
uh, Laser opting instead to go over to that soldier now. See if maybe they can find a little more value there. In the meantime, S Boy trying to push the cart with a little, a little resistance, but oh, Rustic Roos got a little too eager there, pushed onto cart, and that's just a very dangerous place to be if you're an Anna. Card making a reasonable amount of progress though at the moment. So Slate is then able to push it, but they're not winning this fight, I think, which is the key thing. Uh, Tobias does go down, but they are rezzed at the last moment. Still though, Jarlater practically in the back line. Laser able to eventually take them out though. But again, they fall. Uh, this has just been a back and forth affair, but the entire time Slate has been able to move the cart, although not necessarily very fast. Raze Harbor, though, again, because they've won so many of these fights, they've got two ults already online, just about to have four as well. And now we're seeing the cart start to stop. It's made its way up to this uh, second corner here on first point, which is which is where you typically see uh, things start to start to go uh, start to go better for the defense. And welcome back, Joker. Thank you. Uh, my my things are all out of whack on my PC, so I have to restart when my camera falls, uh, fails. So oh, no. I'm here. We're back. The nano boost is onto the diva of S Boy as they're going to come through. Take out Rias, but they're going to get D-Mac. They're going to get that self destruct through, and they're going to take out uh, Crunchy Leaf with it. But it's still looking good for the uh, defense of Gray's Harbor at the moment. Yarlater just doing so much work from on high at the moment as no one's really dealing with them. No, but at this point, the, the D.Va is having a big effect here. Uh, you know, maybe uh, they, they should have thought about taking out the Farah first uh, versus the Baptiste. I'm not sure, but it's, it's definitely giving them a little bit of a boon. They're having a little bit more luck with it now. And Tac Visor is online now for Laser, so this could be a nice push. Yeah, it could be indeed, but Ooh. Full Tobias Max takes them out immediately, coming back from spawn, taking two with them, sending them back to spawn. The Dragon Blade coming out from Jay Rizzle. They're going to be able to take down Rias, which is going to be huge. Looking for the Mercy as well would be massive. The res is going to be there, but Tobias Max does go down in the end, but still, Grace Harbor holding strong. That they are. Disagree has the sound barrier now, though. So if we see that barrage come in, we could see that that's going to be what Disagree wants to hold on to, right? They want to counter that barrage with the sound barrier. Laser's going to have to absolutely pop off with this uh, attack visor, though. Otherwise, this uh, could be just about over. It definitely could be as Jarlater finding two with the barrage. It's down to 30 seconds here. They get the res back up on to the Farah as well. Disagree does take down Rias, which could be huge in the long run. No more main source of healing for Grace Harbor, but uh, when that just happens, Tobias Max just clicks heads. That they do. They're going to lose the Dragon Strike as well on the oh. point. See if they can't get a cheeky kill. They do. And with 10 seconds left to go, that is devastating because Jay Rizzle on that May. That's your sustain Ooh. right there. And S Boy is out of the fight as well. That's this looks like it's going to be curtains here for WCU. Grace Harbor going to be able to come away with this uh, victory here. A quick 3 0 yeah. for the Chokers. <laughs> yeah, the Chokers, they were not in the sense of uh, failing. Uh, when, but, uh, but yeah, that was an amazing series coming in from Grays Harbor there as, uh, they just dominated from the stick go and, uh, never looked back after that first map. Uh, no, they certainly didn't. And, it, you know, kudos again to Tobias. Uh, Tobias, I think was, was the big difference maker here. Yeah. Uh, you know, and getting those initial picks, uh, just giving, giving Grays Harbor that 5v4 just about every fight and then it really was. It was the DPS this game uh, that was the difference maker, I think, for uh, for Grays Harbor. So uh, great job to them. Uh, good luck in your next games, uh, WCU. Saw a lot of good stuff coming out from you and uh, like some of the adaptations, but it just wasn't enough to uh, to take down Grays Harbor tonight. Yeah, definitely. It wasn't in the end. And well, you've got something to work for or work towards in next uh, next match, which is next week, obviously. Um, and I mean, there, I think there's the stuff that is there, I, but I think missing the, that key, one key player of, uh, their, their main DP one of their main DPS players, M MWM mm -hmm. was probably that whole, the whole, uh, uh, 
the whole difference maker, I think. Just having someone on their off rolls is uh, as much uh, you probably you wanted to play the game, but it's not a favorable matchup in the end. And maybe when we get further in and during the playoffs uh, time, we'll see MWM back in it and we'll be able to uh, maybe we'll see a different outcome. Uh, maybe we will, but, uh, you know, again, back to Grays Harbor, just a fantastic start for them yeah. this season and love what we saw today. They, they weren't necessarily pushed, so we didn't have to see them flex on anything. And one thing I'm, I'm going to be looking for is, is how, how deep does their talent go, yeah. right? Can they swap to some of these other comps, uh, as we move forward in the season and they start to meet up with more and more resistance and are forced into a position where maybe they do have to swap. So Gonna be excited to see what is in store for them. Uh, you know, can Tobias Max uh, keep up that kind of insane pressure and performance on other roles? But today it's Grays Harbor all the way. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I want to piggyback off of that as well. Uh, we didn't see either of the team really run what people think is predominantly meta, really, mm. at all. So, uh, maybe when we see a team like Grace, uh, t like team sorry when we see grace harbor go against a team like uh someone who runs meta a lot um i'm really interested to see if they can adapt to uh counter that said meta or they can uh play the meta on par to uh the team they're opposing and and that's going to be a really uh big thing if they want to have success uh going forward it certainly is. And we're going to have to wait, though, until next week to see what's in store uh, for us, though, in that department. Uh, in addition, next week, I do believe we have Hiriko joining us as well. So that's going to be exciting, uh, seeing her thrown into the mix, how she affects things going forward, and it, it just what things look like next week in the collegiate scene because of that. going to be very, very exciting. I know one one thing I'm not looking for is is to casting the uh the the Kitsune rush fights when everything <laughs> just speeds up. Oh my goodness, that's not that's not what I'm looking forward uh, to. I know why. Why doesn't the rush extend to the casters? You know, <laughs> can't can we get that boost as well yeah. here in the booth? <laughs> no, that, that's a good point. That that will yeah. be exciting. You know, I have to I have to do my tongue twister yeah. warm ups do before my, we cast uh, for that day. Yeah, do my my Eminem rap. Uh... My, my anime ah, Eminem rap uh, warm ups before those casts coming up, <laughs> but I'm super excited for next week. But that's gonna be it for this week. It's late. It's twelve o'clock. These kids need to get uh, into bed for uh, for their school day next tomorrow. Uh, or if you don't have classes, you know, just rest up. Uh, get some uh, good work in on some Overwatch 2 and get ready for next weekend. But that's going to be it for us at the NECC. It's going to be, that's it for me, uh, me, Joker's Ransom, him, Juggle God. Thank you all for watching. Peace out and have a wonderful rest of your night and slash evening.